Hi everyone, Erwaning here and welcome into this new video. After working on Kakariko Village, Lake Alia, Zora's Domain and Kokiri Forest, I would like to present you today Goron City and its iconic characters and monsters. It represents 5 months of hard work, which is very short considering the limited time frame. And without any formal 3D education or prior experience in the industry, I have to work very hard to seek knowledge and learn everything on my own while juggling a full day job of 40 hours per week in a different field. That's why I hope the hard work I put in my videos can inspire you on your own project. And for this video, I drew a lot of inspiration from the design and village of the Gorons in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, as well as the overall architecture of the Goron city in Zelda Ocarina of Time. Also, while searching for the perfect moment to recreate as an animated short involving the Gorons and this particular location, I was suddenly struck with the memory of this epic boss fight. So without further ado, here is Goron City and King Donongo, recreated in Unreal Engine 5. Two more spiritual stones. According to Princess Zelda, the next one should be with the Goron people at Death Mountain. Sending me a kid to solve our problem. Since when is my sworn brother, the King of Hyrule, disrespected me like this? Ugh, I'm really angry. You two, get out of my face. Resist this catchy melody. Oh, suddenly my depression is gone. I am Darunia. I'm the big boss of the Gorons. Huh? You want the spiritual stone of fire too? Some time ago, a Gerudo man from the desert wanted the stone too, but I refused. Suddenly, our pantry inside the cavern found itself infested with ancient creatures that had once gone extinct. As we can't eat the rocks inside the cavern anymore, my people, our children, are starving. The spiritual stone of fire, also known as the Goron's ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. I, Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons, won't give it to you that easy. If 
you want it so badly, why don't you go destroy the monsters inside the Dodongo's castle and prove you're a real man? starving ever again. Everybody will be happy again. Even a little fellow like you can pick a bomb fly. The destiny of my people is now in your hands, my guy.
Wow, that was seriously impressive, Link. Well done! Thanks to your courage, we can once again eat delicious rocks from Tadongo's cavern until our stomachs burst. I can't believe that monsters suddenly appeared in such great numbers. And that King Tadongo himself was resurrected. All this must have been caused by that Gerudo thief, Ganondorf. I don't know what his plan is, but it can't be good. I should inform this Aura King about the situation. You, on the other hand, risked your life for this. Kid, I like you. How's about you and I become sworn brothers? <laughs> no worry, there's no big ceremony. Just take this as a token of our friendship. I say there's no ceremony involved? Hey, everybody! Let's see off our brother!
Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you had a wonderful time. For this video I wanted to challenge myself with real-time volumetric fluid effects, and I wanted to see if I was able to use these tools and techniques to create some cool smoke, fire or even lava. And the best way I found to showcase this was to create an entire boss fight with some cool action scenes. Building the environment was fun, and I used different techniques such as the boolean tool here to create the holes and tunnel on the walls. And I even used VDBs to build some interesting effects like manually positioning the clouds in this scene to create the look that I want. Another thing that I'm really proud of is the work I did on the sound design. It was really fun to create the sounds and roar for King Donongo by mixing sounds from lions, chainsaw or even elephant. It was a lot of work, research, trials, error and learning. But it's exactly what I'm looking for when making these videos and I hope the hard work can inspire you on your own project. But this video would not have been the same without the insane work of the music composer Mozik. She composed every single music you've heard in this video so thank you so much. And also, the tremendous work done by the talented voice actor Killian Poplik. His performance as the Runia was incredible and it, it inspired me to give my best to animate the Runia, so thank you so much. But let's not forget Hannah, who once again voiced Navy and gave the small touch of humor that this video needed. Thank you. I would like to say a big thank you to each of these individual people supporting the channel on Patreon. Really thank you from the bottom of my heart. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'm Erwan Link and I will see you guys in the next video.